All right, hello all. We are going to discuss some of the nerves that are easily identifiable in terms of the hand. Specifically, we're going to focus on some of the efferent nerves that you can actually see. So we are looking at a palmar view or an anterior view of the hand. Let me get this pen going. And there are going to be two nerves that you are going to be able to see. The first is going to be the median nerve, and you will see it here in the wrist region. So this is the median nerve right here. This is going to be part of that transverse carpal ligament or the roof of the carpal tunnel right there, and it will go through this region. And then it will send small uh, branches in specific areas, particularly for the cutaneous innervation, which most of that has been removed, obviously, because we are looking uh, at a deeper dissection. But there is going to be a very, very small branch right here, drawing a little arrow. So you can see it looks like this little bitty thing right here. This is going to be that recurrent branch of the median nerve. So that is the efferent branch that is going to be providing the efferent innervation to the thenar compartment of intrinsic hand muscles. It is very, very small, but if you do see a small branch, a small nerve branch in the thenar compartment, you can be sure that you're looking at the recurrent branch. Returning back to the median nerve in this region, it is difficult sometimes to tell the difference between the median nerve and the tendons of the flexor compartment of the forearm that are moving into the hand region in order to help flex the digits. But the good news is on a practical, we would ask you what nerve or to identify the nerve um, or it would have to be something specific in terms of the tendon. So while it is difficult to tell the difference between the nerve and the tendons in these images, or even in a dissection sometimes, it is going, uh, we would ask specifically for the nerve. Okay, let me move that back away so we can focus on the ulnar nerve. And I forgot to do this at the beginning, and this is always a practice that you should do at the beginning, and so I apologize we didn't start from the beginning, but try to figure out if you're looking at lateral or medial. We know we're looking at a lateral because of this first digit, and I'm going to do this in a few videos, so hopefully this will become second nature. The fifth digit is always going to be medial. So you know that that ulnar nerve is going to be more on the medial side, and you can see the nerve right here. And not only can you see it here, but you see it entering into the hand region here. Now all of these small branches that are going towards some of the, the deeper intrinsic hand muscles, we're not having you identify the small branches. We would probably focus more on this bigger bulk of the median nerve. The only small branch that we have you know within the intrinsic hand region is that recurrent branch right here. So just to review, the median nerve is going to be more in the middle of the forearm region as it enters and traverses through the carpal tunnel. It will send off one small branch that you have to identify, the recurrent branch that is going to be supplying the thenar compartment. The ulnar nerve will always be on the medial side. We know it's medial because we're looking at the fifth digit here, and then it will send the branches to the rest of the intrinsic hand muscles in this region. So this is what we're asking you to be able to identify in terms of the hand region. And hopefully the, these are fairly uh, second nature at this point in terms of what they're innervating. As always, you can, if you have areas that are still confusing in this region, please feel free to reach out to myself or any of the anatomy faculty. Thank you.